That's that's not really that's not really how deck building works. God, do I keep Donna Dusk? We're attacking evens. Deny Donna Dusk comes out on turn seven. Oh god. Oh, am I keeping Donna Dusk? I think I might. That's super weird. I think it's really trolly to keep Donna Dusk, actually. I think it's really incredibly trolly. I think I can't. I think this is a matchup where I actually keep Deny though. That's a three of. Good player would always draw it later. This is like maybe the only matchup in the game where I would keep Deny only because I already have Zed. But yeah, I mean, Solitary Monk, you're gonna be overdrawing it in a lot of cases, but it's too important to kick. It's literally the, the entire point of the deck. Double drawing Solitary Monk will lose you maybe one game out of a hundred. Something, something in that general region. It's, it's gonna be less amount than it wins you for having like the consistency over it. Three of the card you most want to draw in the entire deck is too much, Kappa. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it always... I mean, it's always gonna... It's always gonna feel bad when you triple draw it. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't run three. Right? I, I, I think that style of deck building is just... Basically, emotional deck building. It's just like, oh, it feels bad, let's cut it. It doesn't really make any sense. He doesn't have hard removal on this turn, and we have the deny for protection. I think I can probably force him to take a double block by double buffing this. However, if I attack now, he might actually take the five mana thermo. I mean, doesn't he kind of have to double block it either way? It's pretty funny if he tries to five mana thermo this. Ah, uh, really? You're gonna let six through? Okay. Good. I wonder if there's some place you could make that would actually make us Relentless Pursuit here. Is that one of them? Am I scared of that? They are Zed blockers. It's just, it's like an incredibly loose deny, but I mean, it's not like he couldn't possibly race us down. And they are Zed blockers. The one thing is we have Spirit's Refuge though. But the Zed Shadow Clone Jutsu doesn't get the life steal. I mean, I just never deny that. I'm just chilling. I don't. I don't see. I don't see any reason to deny that. I think. Maybe I'm dumb though. That's a. It's definitely a close one. I have a single problem with this. The one thing is like, I mean, it's possible for a deny to be forced out on like a mystic shot, I guess, is the one thing. Okay, seems good. So I always just play duo for value here. Or is not to. Says you. Yeah, I think the the fact that it's like forcing the deny out, I think could be could be a little too awkward. Yeah. It's probably better odds to deny that. I think you guys are right. No. Yeah. I don't know, it's pretty okay though. Spirit's Refuge is probably peaking here. There's no reason to do it before combat though, because it's not like the Shadow Clone Jutsu gets it yet. So I just open attack like a normal human being. Double Mystic get excited gets there. That's pretty much the one thing, right? And depending on how he plays this, it could definitely be a little awkward. It just comes down to his action here. If he passes back to me, eh, that's a little awkward. Takes a brood. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have an answer to our Relentless Pursuit here. We'll just take it. Green Glade gets in 4 and we're back to 20. We still have Deny, so we can break Vengeance. I mean, that's the most important thing. Just like, making sure you can break Vengeance. That being said, I mean, the, the fact that like, Double Mystic can force our Deny out is, is definitely too vulnerable there, for sure. He 
he's like switching into long term value. I don't think he has a choice here. And I'm always disciplining the Zed. Ooh, now this is weird. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it possible I don't? Nah, I mean, it always gets value. It's just like, there's a good chance the Zed isn't my win condition here. But I always have to start by disciplining it, for sure. We'll see how this works. 20 HP again. Yeah, I mean, he's down to 7. Get excited on Zed. I mean, he doesn't have a better way to deal with it. That's a sign of desperation. It's like you would grasp there. What did he discard? Uh, oh god, you can't actually see what he discarded until it resolves. I missed it. What did he discard? Did you guys see? That's a little annoying. Because it, 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 it implies a different amount of desperation depending on what he discarded. He can't really have Grasp or Vengeance, of course. I mean, I, I think it's it's got to be a pretty easy deny. It's like my worst case scenario, deny trades for a second, get excited, and a second discard. But we know he doesn't have like Vengeance or anything weird in his hand. It could be Ruination, though. If the Zed dies here, we get a Shadow Assassin through Ruination. It's really easy for him to have Ruination here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll let Zed die. Sweet. The one awkwardness is like, I mean, Mystic Shot here actually does decent value. So now we have Dawn plus Deny or Dawn plus Pursuit. This usually plays out Dawn into Deny. I mean, we can't win if we Dawn into Deny. We're one damage short, which is a little awkward. I do want odds to win the game here. If we play Green Glade Duo into Deny, then we win. If, if it's a Ruination, of course. Green Glade first. Well, Green Glade, Dawn of Dusk, and Deny, we don't have mana for that. I think that I have to believe that this Dawn and Dusk will draw us into a Radiant Strike on two draws. I mean, it's not like that's my only win condition, but that's how we have the ability to beat him this turn. I wonder what his odds of having, like, the double answer are here. It's pretty hard for him to have a double answer with his hand. His second, his, like, he's on, like, Karina Ruination and then some like, random proactive card. He's gotta be out of answers, right? Like, what could he possibly have on top of this? Wow, he's got third Get Excited if he's thinking about this? What the hell else could that be? That's so strange. But yeah, I mean, he's tapped under Ruination. So it's like... We deny the Karina, probably? He wouldn't discard Karina too. Yeah, I could have been third get excited and he didn't want to discard the Karina. I mean, I'm pretty fine with all of this. So no, no turn 9 play. Wow, what? Does he actually have a hand with the burn potential to over the top me? That shouldn't be possible. If I Relentless Pursuit, I force a non-Ruination answer. And that is powerful because I'm lowering his options for answers. I'm allowing him to use a combat spell, but this deck has no combat spells. I think I can devalue Ruination. I think I can use my Deny on a non-Ruination answer, and I can force him to have multiple non-Ruination answers. And that's really impactful. Does Duo... Duo enables like Vile plus X. Whereas Vile doesn't actually save him yet. It's kind of crazy. Like against Vile, I would rather have... Twin Disciplines. Withering Whale and Vile. He just drew three cards. God, he hasn't played a single one of those. The odds of him having Whale or Vile is sky high. I think I save Disciplines plus Deny Mana. It's usually Grasp off the top of Progress Day. Ooh. Interesting. Double Whale. Whale plus deny. So, or sorry, whale plus Vilefeast. So I deny the withering whale, and then I give it plus attack. And off of his play, he can't have second Vilefeast or Mystic Shot. Oh wait. Oh, I guess that's yeah, true. Didn't didn't really think about that. Wow. 
Yeah, interesting. Hmm, fascinating. You guys are like math wizards. You get, hmm. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We get, we're fine. So this, this is quite fascinating. So now, if I use... God, it's so weird that he took the took the whale there instead of double nice. So now if I use disciples for health, he survives at one. Of course, it's our turn to attack next. I mean, disciplines for health here is always worth it, right? I think it has to be. You win next turn? Well, that's the plan, but we're, we're playing around outs. You, it's, it's never... It's, it's always like, okay, do we beat Karina? What are the odds of Grasp? We have a time beating Grasp, but we have a hard time beating Grasp plus X. Can we break Karina? Um, Karina plus three mana. At three mana, he doesn't have almost anything. It's hard for him to have almost anything. I mean, open attacking is probably just fine because we have Pursuit. I don't think there's enough of a downside to open attacking, actually. That being said, I mean, I can beat Karina with, like, whale stuff, too. Isn't it better to will this now? Are we ever gonna need will on anything else? We beat third Vile Feast if we will this now. We beat third Vile Feast. Okay. Third Vile Feast is rare, but it's a difference. And this is just how you need to be thinking about games, especially when you're in late game spots. If you watch me a lot, you'll see me do this like every single game. It's just every play, the value of every play can only and always will be a function of what you are playing around and what you beat, right? And it's like, that's the difference between the will play. We beat third Vile Feast. We don't beat third Vile Fe Feast plus second Skitterer, but we beat third Vile Feast. So it's like, and that's why hand reading is so important, as well as like tracking what cards they've played and what cards they haven't, right? So any any play that's just able to beat certain combinations of hands, and it's a third Vafis is low odds, but it's still like there's no reason not to will there. So what what the hell is this net deck? What is Callista Elise with Freljord Splash? Is that just they who endure that's running Callista for no reason? My hand is kind of dreamy. So against spiders, is this hand a dreamy or is it nightmare? This is, it's very fascinating. It's very, very interesting. I think I kick pursuit. It's just too early for it and I need standalone. I think I kick spirit's refuge. It's too early for it and I need standalone. And I think I kick Zed because it's too early for it and I need standalone. But this, this is some really advanced mulligan tactics here. I don't know. I could keep Zed as the option. I think against like spiders, I just want to go over him with the elusive. Is my logic. That being said, I will say, I think it's very possible I am over committing to the standalone game plan here. And also the fact that you, by the way, I want to point out, you can't use monk, uh, you can't use Donna Dusk on monk. You, it doesn't work. Donna, the last copy of monk will recall the others. So Zed is a Donna Dusk target. And so is Shadow Assassin, if you want to, but Monk is not. And that's important. I pull the strings. A three denies good to run isn't too enough. I think two might be enough. It's close. I am not a three deny man, but this is a deck that plays for such a narrow game plan and has such a tight range of counters that I think I do actually. I think I do actually like the I the idea of three denies. See like if I were to blade scout into Dawn of right now, I would have six damage. You guys are gonna tell me that's bad? Think about it. It feels like a Fiora turn. I think this is the turn where I kinda respect my opponent's game plan. I don't think I need to do anything weird like Shadow Assassin. Stay away from my pets. Well, that's rude. Gah. Fast as wind, light as air. I could do Blade Scout here. 
I think the sign of a good player with this deck is to hold Blade Scout for the Relentless Pursuit combo. Because again, the whole point is it's one mana for like six damage if I'm using two pursuits that turn, right? That's the entire point. Sorry, I think something's sizzling on the stove. I don't think my Fiora can really attack here, man. It feels bad. I guess I just do this and nothing else. This deck has to be comfortable burning mana. Glimpse into crawling. Hey Swim, I want to thank you for the Trinimir deck. For Trinimir one tricks like me, I had a blast. Oh, that silly meme. Yeah, no problem, buddy. So, he's got the flip to lease. The question is, how much do I mind really? And the answer is, I probably mind. I don't know. This deck is evolving, dude. The Dawn of Dusk. This deck is both simultaneously really big brain and really small brain at the same time. It's quantum brain. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Do I just let this through? Do I just let this happen? I'm burning mana. I think I I think I'm better off protecting my Fiora here. I think I kinda have to be. I don't know. I don't think I can play this position like the combo deck wants to play it. It's also kind of weird that he set my solitary monk to two health. That's a little strange. I think I will go mana negative here. I, I won't bank the full three. I think I'm just gonna play this like a weird value spot, at least for a while. Another situation where key guardian would have been neat. But it's, the barrier doesn't do anything, guys. It's mostly only useful if I'm using it on Fiora. Can we kill him this turn? We have 6 plus 2. We've got Pursuit, Pursuit, Blade Scout. And that is enough to kill him. That's 24 total damage. So we're still, we're still overkilling him by 7. If he has nothing. Now, we would have a guaranteed kill if we had either Radiance or Chain Vest. Well, I said guaranteed. If if we had either Radiant or Chain Vest, we could beat hands like Whale or Vile Feast. Dawn of Dusk Fiora, Kek W. Yeah, that is kind of a Kek W. Okay, so yeah, it's just duo into Pursuit into Pursuit, right? Is kind of the idea. I can't bank mana here, can I? Is there a way to counter his plays? He's at 17, so 6 plus 3 plus 3 is good. So in theory, if he had something that could kill one of my units without life stealing, I would have exact lethal if I had one more mana and could twin disciplines here. I mean, I just have to play duo. It's insane to do anything else. That leaves six. So I've got eight, redoubled, redoubled. So if I have to use twin for health plus pursuit, I'm actually one short of lethal. That kind of sucks. I want to have lethal here with twins for health plus one pursuit. But I can't. Twins for health is something I would do, like, if he threatened my monk with, like, I don't know, a grasp. This is such a stupid deck. I fucking love it. He locked himself out of unit plays. If you had a skitterer, you would literally always play the skitterer there. You can't not. I mean, it's possible he'll overcommit to protect his Elise. I think he feels like I'm elusive, and his way of winning is by killing my units. So I can maybe force an answer out here. If he glimpses my Fiora, he loses to double Relentless Pursuit. I don't know if Elise Killis the Freljord runs Glimpse, or Grasp, I, sorry. They're like half a syllable different, guys. I, I just call Grasp Glimpse sometimes. If he feasts duo, can't let you die, twin for attack, and you're good. Yeah, that's true. That's true, twin for attack plus Pursuit. Still good there. So he lets it all through. Unfortunately for this guy, I have a lot more where that came from. I mean, he can't Skitterer here, he would have used it before. And even if he has Skitterer, he's still dead to my double Pursuit. It's like nothing makes him good here. What a stupid deck.
Just this this deck. There's just nothing that feels like this. It really isn't. You can't you can't beat this feeling, dude. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh. The fact that Dawn can't be used on Monk does feel bad. God, if Dawn could be used on Monk, that would be really nuts. 